guys, as you can probably tell, I do all of my editing on my Mac. Well, I say all of it, I've recently been doing a little bit more on my iPad um, with an app called LumiFusion. Um, but most of my bigger edits I do are on my MacBook Pro, um, mainly using Final Cut Pro and Lightroom and a little bit of Photoshop. I've had this now for six years. This is one of the first I've had with Retina screens. Um, I think it's a mid-2012 version, let's have a look. Yeah, mid-2012, MacBook Pro Retina. Uh, it's got 2.3 gigahertz i7, 8 gigs of 1600 megahertz DDR3, and an NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M with a gig of RAM. Love it. It's one of my best gadgets I've ever owned. Um, like I say I've owned it now for six years. I bought it new. Um, it's never really failed me. I did a full restore on it about three months ago just because I filled the hard drive up. It's only got 256 gig hard drive in it. Um, but I thought I'd better off refresh. Since then it's been running perfectly. Although I do know, well I have noticed over the last few, well, the last few months I've noticed that the fans have been kicking in a lot quicker and going a lot heavier when under load. So as you can see at the moment, I'm in Final Cut Pro, I've got, it's only 1080 footage, um, there's a couple of multi-view cameras in there, um, so it's not massively pulling on the, um, the max specs, but it keeps on ramping up the speed. And I suddenly thought, I've never actually cleaned the Mac, I cleaned the fans out or anything. So, today's that day. Um, obviously, I've, I've gone over it with an air duster. I've gone in with the exhaust ports here and underneath. But now, I thought what we'll try is take the base off, clean it out, air duster. So, I've got, I bought a little screwdriver for, for, sorry, off of eBay for like £1.50. Took about a week to get here. I've got a can of air duster, and that's pretty much it. So, what we're going to do is now we're going to do a very quick video of taking it apart, finding out what I have inside, and then seeing how good we are at cleaning it. So here's that footage. it to be worse. Um, there was a nice little covering of uh, dust and like hairs and bits and bobs in round by the fans but nothing as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, as you can see it all came out pretty nicely with an air duster. Quite satisfying. Um, I did notice that getting the cover off was a bit interesting. It seems like although there's screws there's also pins that hold into magnets that hold it in the right place. Another wonder of Apple's design I would say. 
Um, so yeah, I've cleaned it out. I've had it run in for the last five minutes or so. Um, I haven't really put any load on it, but I can imagine that none of that dust was helping. I am aware that it's six years old and I'm probably coming up to the point where it does need to be replaced. Um, the more and more editing I do, when I first got this, I just kind of got it from my personal laptop. Um, but now I'm using it more and more to edit these videos, edit photos for clients. So I probably will eventually need to update it at some point. But it's just a workhorse. It works and works and works. And I edit 4K footage on here. I did have issues recently with regards to using an external hard drive. Um, in the latest versions of Mac OS, I found my 4K footage getting choppier and choppier as I was editing it. I only shoot 4K on my DJI Mavic Pro and my GoPro and my phone. Um, but I tend not to edit in it too much because Film the videos as I was scanning through were choppier and choppier, and I was just becoming a headache. So I had to create proxy media, and I couldn't be bothered. Solved all of that with a build-it-yourself SSD, um, which there's a link in the description below. Rather than spending nearly 200 quid for a 480 gig SSD, I decided to build one myself, which was just the enclosure and just an SSD. It takes about five minutes if that totally worth it from Amazon so it's delivered next day but now like I say I've got Final Cut Pro open the fans aren't going you probably didn't hear them earlier you probably sorry you probably didn't hear them earlier because I haven't really got the best mic set up on this camera but they haven't started where before you could pretty much open Final Cut Pro it started moving the cursor around then they would start but yeah I'd like say it's it's not going to hurt it. Whether it delays the fans by another couple of minutes or not, it ain't going to hurt and it doesn't have to work all through that dust. So hopefully it puts another little bit of lease of life into my great Mac here. Well, just hit 2,600 subscribers on this channel, which I'm shocked with. Um, when I first started out, it took me ages to even get to 100. And now it's pretty much going up daily. Thank you very much for subscribing, it does mean a lot. Um, Instagram channel again, I think we're up to nearly, well, I think just over 10,000 subscribers. Um, again, thank you. If you are subscribed to that and this, you're a great person. Thank you very much. Um, we've got loads more videos coming up. I've uh, been taking pictures for a local, well known semi professional football team which I'll be going to again tomorrow. I'm really enjoying those. Again, everything will be edited on my trusty Mac here. That's brilliant. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. See you another time.